Hi everyone, welcome back to Teachings with Dr. Mo. I'm Dr. Mo, and in this video, we're going to be going over a case study that showcases gentle techniques. Um, this case study was given to me with permission by the practitioner uh, with the intention to be used for educational purposes. So let's dive right in. So this is just an ex excerpt of a larger case study. So that's why it says I continued with because there was uh, information before, but for the sake of this video and streamlining it, I decided to just condense it to this little part here. So the practitioner writes, I continued with the movie technique, which is also known as the silent movie technique, uh, not to be confused with tell the story, which is basically the out loud version of the movie technique, okay? And they did this, they chose this technique to address the remaining charge of the event that they were working on. Perfect. So they made sure that the event was a short one. It lasted only several minutes in real time. This is a very, very crucial part when you use silent movie and when you use tell the story. Um, specifically with these gentle techniques, you want the event that you're working on to be a short little clip. So usually 10 to 15 minutes in real time um, is the sweet spot. Okay. Oftentimes, if you if you ask your client and you don't specify, can you condense it to the most intense, you know, 10 to 15 minutes or even less? of that experience, what would that be? Your, your client may actually um, be tapping on a, an eight hour event or an event that lasted for um, an entire day or more. So they really need that direction and asking them to pick the most intense 10 to 15 minutes continuously that were unbroken right? You don't want your client to be splicing different moments of intensity from an entire event. You want continuous, unbroken, intense, 10 to 15 minutes. Let's tap on that section of that, um, of that movie. Let's tap on that scene, that clip. Okay. So asking how long it is, it's very important so that you and your client are on the same page. Because if you ask your client to just, you know, pick something, pick an event, and they they chose like a, a four-hour event, you would not know until you recognize that, oh, the, the intensities are not going down. They're actually going up, right? Things are getting more intense or it's just very sporadic. So you really want to um, give your client the best directions possible by asking them to pick um, an intense 10 to 15 minute segment, okay? Once you've established how long that event is, then you can move on to the next important piece, which is choosing a title. So you do this for tell the story and you do this for the silent movie or the movie technique. Okay. And this title is very important because it kind of takes the, the intensity, that excess intensity that's surrounding that event, it kind of shears it away, right? You're peeling the outer layer of the onion when you do this, the very outer layer. So you want to give your client the directions of when they choose the, the title, have them make it so it's not extremely intense where every time they say it, they completely flood. So you don't want that extreme, but you also don't want something that is, is very general um, or it doesn't elicit a little bit of intensity, right? You want just a little bit a little bit that reminds them of what that event is, what that thing is, okay? So informative, not very general, make it gentle um, and make it as specific as you can without um, creating or inducing intensity, okay? Um, so with this, don't be afraid to to try things out with your client. You can always backtrack. You can always say to your client, ooh, that seems a bit intense. Let's, let's pick another title. Let's work with the title to make it gentle, right? You want it, you want it to be a gentle reminder, okay? So with this um, practitioner, when she was guiding her client to pick a title, he chose the title, getting him in trouble, perfect. 
right? This is general enough where it's not inducing a huge state of intensity because the set is four. If the set was like a 10 and it was like really, really intense, maybe think about, okay, let's choose a different title that maybe isn't so intensity inducing. All right. But the set is a four. That's a good level. We're taking the outer layer off. It's perfect. Getting him in trouble. You know that this is, this sounds like a specific one-time event, right? If it was something like always getting in trouble, maybe your client isn't focused on one event because they're using that word always. So the title is very indicative of what your client is um, tuning into. So make sure that it's, it's, they're still tuning into one specific event. I have a video where I go into how to choose a title um, using silent movie and movie tech and tell the story, excuse me. So if you want more information on that, go ahead and check that one out. That's on on my YouTube channel. So going back, we now have the title established and it's said for perfect. So with the title, you want to um, tap on that title, just the title until the intensity is a three or below. It's already a four. So, you know, maybe it didn't take that long to get this to a three or below. And they said that they tapped on both the title and the sensations he felt in the, in the body. So they did kind of some chasing the pain with this, which is perfect um, if that's what your client is experiencing. So now that they got, I'm assuming that the title became three or less and they, and they didn't, didn't write that here in the session notes. However, we can assume that that's the thing that they did. Okay. Um, then they started from a neutral point. Okay, you want to tell your client, I want you to run this movie in your mind, starting from a neutral point before anything bad happened, and then run it until you find a, you feel a moment of intensity, either in your body or um, mentally, emotionally, however you're feeling this intensity. When something gets intense, we're going to stop and tap on that. Okay, because this was silent movie, your client is not going to tell you, you're going to tell your client, don't tell me what happened at this peak, just let me know when it's intense for you and we'll tap on that. Okay, so in silent movie, the less you know, as a practitioner, the the better. And it may feel very uncomfortable because you don't know what's happening on that end with, with your client. You don't know the specifics or anything like that. But your job is as a practitioner is just to stay steady, to be an anchor, and to just focus on guiding them through those peaks. Okay. So his first peak was a five, right? So when your client is like, oh, I, I got the, at the first moment I, I'm here, you ask your client, what's the intensity of that peak? And this client said five. Perfect. So the, the tapping for this is extremely general. It's going to feel uncomfortable because you're tapping. You don't know what you're tapping on as a practitioner, but your client does. And so you're saying, even though I have the first peak in my movie, or even though I'm, I'm at the first moment of intensity, or even though I'm at this first part, I love and accept myself. Okay. Here, I do want to, I do want to mention that they, the practitioner threw in a, a quite powerful reframe that I do not um, suggest doing. Um, the F word or the forgive word is kind of a, a dicey topic in EFT. And especially when you introduce it into a setup statement, that is a massive reframe that could actually create more issues than the one that you're working on, right? Because forgiveness is, um, although it's a great thing to arrive to, um, it's not always necessary for your client to have massive shifts and for your client to progress. That's not within our scope as practitioners to make sure that our client forgives their transgressors or, or forgives themselves, right? So I would leave the F word, leave it out of the game leave it at the door. Don't mention it. Um, keep your set of statements as pure and as uh, simple as possible. So I would take out this forgive um, because it could kind of um, add confounding factors to just doing the movie technique.
So besides that, this was a great set of statement. Even though I'm at the first peak in my movie, I love and accept myself. Or right here, right now, I'm okay. And then you do that. The reminder phrases would be this first peak, this first peak, this first peak, this first peak in my movie, this first moment of intensity, this first moment of intensity, right? It's so basic, so boring. And to you as a practitioner, you have no idea what's going on. So you may feel lost in the sauce, but that's okay because it's about your client. Your client knows what that first peak is all about. Okay. So now you check in again on that side it was a five before that first peak was a five what is it now it's a two perfect so you can either continue do another round get that lower closer to a zero or you can tell your client hey let's start at the neutral point again we're going to rewind this movie start at the neutral point and then go right through the first peak and after the first peak, tell me when you reach the second one, okay? The goal of Tell the Story and of Silent Movie is not always to collapse the peaks down to zero because they're peaks. What that means is that they're, they're an accumulation of tons of aspects that are culminated and they're forming a little mountain, okay? Um, those, those aspects specifically you will get when you are able to do basic recipe because basic recipe is all about specific aspects so you don't have to feel pressure to get every peak down to um, zero because you're not tapping on specific aspects when you're tapping on peaks okay you, there's there's going to be a little of an intensity at those peaks because you haven't tapped on the specific aspects that are making up that peak okay so i hope that makes a little bit of sense um so you feel free to, to leave your peaks and those moments of intensity, you know, two or below, like within the tell the story and the movie technique. Two or below is good uh, um, throughout the whole movie. Don't feel pressure to get those to a zero unless you want to, um, to really go for it. But you can always, you know, transition into basic recipe once you've collapsed most of the intensity for all of the peaks okay so wonderful so this client or so this practitioner um instructed their client to re rewind the movie to the neutral point run it again in his mind let me know when you you reach um another peak right his sud score on the second peak was five dropped to a two after tapping one round using even though i have the second peak in my movie right? Even though I'm at the second peak, I love, accept, and forgive myself. So we already know how I feel about the forgive myself. Take out the forgive myself. I love and accept myself. It's perfect. All right. So then they went on to test our work. I asked if he could vividly imagine the event and tell the story out loud, right? So this is kind of, this is a testing method, right? I'm assuming that there were only two peaks of intensity in his movie, so you're done, right? Now that you've collapsed all the peaks to a two or below, you can think about, hey, maybe we can transition into going into tell the story and voicing that, giving giving a voice to that story, upping the ante on the exposure, right? Before we just had mental exposure, we didn't have vocal exposure. Now we're, we're bringing language into it that's a next level of um, exposure and we're using tell the story so now um the practitioner is inquiring would you be okay with vividly imagining the event and telling the story out loud how does that idea feel okay um the client said there wasn't much charge at the idea of doing that he felt calmer talking about it but when he reached the first peak, he felt anxious hearing his mom's intimidating voice yelling at him. Okay, so here um, we can assume that the client said, yes, I'll tell the story. And when you tell the story, um, you're articulating what happened at each peak, okay, um, which is why there is an aspect here right we have we have specific aspects now because we're getting down into the nitty gritty of what is making up those peaks and it was the auditory aspect of hearing his mom's intimidating voice yelling at him okay 
So that, that was one of the aspects that wasn't yet collapsed in doing, you know, the, the, um, the silent movie tapping and getting those peaks down to a two or below this peak was holding it up, right. Um, was holding up that intensity. So then you can work with that using basic recipe, even though I hear my mom's intimidating voice yelling at me right here, right now, I'm okay. You know, hearing my mom's intimidating voice, hearing my mom's intimidating voice, that would be how you would work with that specific aspect. And then to check the work, you would have your client start at the neutral point, tell the story again, and see if there's any intensity that popped up throughout that whole thing. Okay, so I do hope that this was helpful. Um, even though this case study is really, really short, you can see how so much is, is um, present in this case study. So many learning moments. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment them. Send me your questions. Um, I'm here uh, with you and for you. And um, we will talk and tap soon, okay? Bye.